the suit. He praised the one that he would have not even come in the world. Also, even the one that had died, then the one that's living. Because the one that died had to live through oppression. The one that's living, living in oppression. The one that had come there put him on his own. Lamentations 1. Lamentations 1. And 16. Lamentations is the first chapter. The 16th verse. For these things are weak. Mine eye. Mine eye running down with water. These are tears. Sadness. Because the comforter that should relieve my soul is far from me. My children are desolate. Because the enemy prevails. We didn't want to follow the Most High, so He gave us two mats, the oppressor. And when you look at, you're saying the Holy Spirit couldn't come because the powers in the oppressor's side, on the oppressor's side. And here we are. In these last days, thinking that we're going to get something out of them. We're get nothing out of this man. Most I said it's Ezekiel 7 to 24. This is for those that think they're going to get something out of the oppressor, massive. This who he is. Ezekiel 7 24. Wherefore I will bring the worst of the heathen. Hear that? I will bring the worst of the heathen. And they shall possess their houses. I will also make the pomp of the strong to cease, and their holy places shall be defiled. That's what they did. He said, Destruction is coming. Destruction coming. Woe coming. Woe be destruction. Destruction coming. And they shall seek peace, and there shall be none. That's why I say, No comforter. Ain't no comfort in captivity, slavery, and bondage. Look at Psalm of Three Holy Children, verse 9. He said they're going to send the worst of the heathen, and they're going to possess our houses where we live. And they're doing that right now. Psalm of Three Holy Children in the Apocrypha, verse 9. This master, the, this, the oppressor, and thou didst deliver us into the hands of lawless enemies, most hateful forsakers of the most high, and to an unjust king and the most wicked in all the world. That's who he delivered us to. The worst of the heathen, the most wicked in all the world. And Job 9.24 says, The earth is given to the hand of the wicked. He covered the faces of the judges there, if not where and who is it? So here we are, caught up in it. When we're going to come out of it, the those that have ears to hear, we come back to the Most High and follow His law, says the commandments, because we got next forever and ever and ever. And those that's going to come out of this oppressive state, who following the Most High through the Mashiach are shy. That's what it's all about. No more, no less. Look at St. John 16 and 7. Listen to what Amashiach Yahweh told us. Nevertheless, I tell you the truth. 
it is expedient for you that I go away. It's very important that I go away. For if I go not away, the Comforter will not come unto you. But if I depart, I will send him unto you. And when he has come, he will reprove the world of sin. I'm going to be announcing the world of Israel of the sins that they're committing and of righteousness and of judgment, of sin because they believe not on me, of righteousness because I go to my Father and ye see me no more, of judgment because the prince of this world is judged. He's judged. I have yet many things to say unto you, but ye cannot bear them now, he said. You can't understand them now. Your minds can't comprehend what I'm doing to say until you receive another comfort. That's why he said, albeit when he is a male, the spirit of truth is come, he will guide you into all truth. He will dispel all the lies to him and bring the laws of the most science to your spirit. Because that's the truth. Psalms 119, 142, we read that. For he shall not speak of himself, but whatsoever he shall hear, that shall he speak, and he will show you things to come. Let me give you an example of how this works. We will go to Revelations 1 and 1. And I hope spiritually, through the Spirit of the Most High, you're getting this. If not, go over it again and again. Until you get it. Very important. Revelation 1 and 1. This is how everything operates. Been operating. Always going to operate. You have to come into the Holy Spirit. So you don't have it. Pray the most high. Give it to you. Revelation 1 and 1. The revelation, the revealing of Amasiach Yahushai. Which the most high gave unto him. So he gave Amasiach Yahushai the revealing of himself. To show unto his servants, who are the children of Israel, things which must shortly come to pass. How did he do it? And he sent and signified it by his angel unto his servant, who was the children of Israel, after me, John. See? Who bear record of the word of the Most High and of the testimony of the Mashiach Kavashai and of all things that he saw. See? He goes on to say, Blessed is he that readeth. Oh no, they say you keep something from us, you put it in the book. But they say, Blessed is he that readeth, and they that hear the words of this prophecy, and keep those things which are written therein, for the time is at hand. You see? So verse 1 let you know, most I gave it to a Mashiach Kavashai, Mashiach gave it to his servants, who are we, the children of Israel. We're the servants. We need to prove that in the book of Isaiah 44 and 1. Yet now hear, O Jacob, my servant, and Israel, whom I have chosen. See? I said the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, and Jacob being the forefather of the twelve tribes of Israel, that made thee and formed thee from the womb, which will help thee. Fear not, O Jacob. Jacob's name was changed. Here's my servant. There it is. See? And thou, Jezreel, another name, the most high called we the children of Israel, whom I have chosen. Look at verse 1, Israel, whom I have chosen. Here it says Jezreel, whom I have chosen. So that's another name for we as the Israelites. When you see who the servants are, the children of Israel. Point blank, no doubt about it. When you have doubt, go to verse 21. Remember these, O Jacob and Israel, for thou art my servant. See? So when you see servants, who is it talking to? It's talking to the children of Israel, the 12 tribes of Israel. So in Revelation 1 and 1, Everything operates. Revelation or the revealing of Amasiah Kawashai, which the Most High gave unto him. So the Most High gave this revelation to Amasiah Kawashai. 
to show unto his servants the children of Israel. That's why I say by the time you get to the revelation, you got to know all these precepts to be able to understand what he's saying. Because people will tell you the servants mean anybody. But we just define who the servants are. He said, Israel, my servants. So, the most I showed about Shachar revealing things of Moshiach Kavashai to the 12 tribes of Israel, things which must surely come to pass. Remember, the Holy Spirit is going to show you what? Things to come. That's things which must surely come to pass. The future. And he sent, how did he do it? And he sent and signified it by his angel. I mean, he make his angel spirits, his spirits angels, ministers as a flaming fire, which is the word of the most high that fire. So it says, he sent it by his angel unto his servant, who had to be an Israelite because the servants are the Israelites, John. Okay? That's how everything operates. Let me give you another, another example. Let's go to Psalms. 110 and 1. You see, King David, all these songs are songs. Songs. S O N G S. All you that don't sing. These are songs that he sung. A song or a song of David. Say, I'm going to read like it's written, then I'm going to read the understanding of how it's written and with the understanding. You see, the Lord, and it's capital L, capital O, capital R, capital D, the Lord said unto my Lord, this is capital L, little O, uh, lowercase O, lowercase R, lowercase D. Different from the first Lord. It says, the Lord said unto my Lord, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. Right? This is Song of David. So, there's two lords in this verse. One is more dominant than the other. So what it should read for the understanding of the hearers and those that can see, it says, the most high power of Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, saying unto my power, Mashiach, Yahweh, Shai, sit thou at my right hand until I make thine enemies thy footstool. And that's what my second.